In our experiment, we are showing what happens when you put Alka-Seltzer in water. There is a nearly instant reaction between the Alka-Seltzer tablet and the water that is seen through the bubbles. When the tablet dissolves into the water, it produces an aqueous solution where the sodium bicarbonate and citric acid molecules within the, the tablet can separate and interact with each other. One of the products of this reaction is carbon dioxide, which is what we are measuring through this eudiometer. The bubbles produced are carbon dioxide gas from the reaction rising to the top as gas is less dense than liquid. As the carbon dioxide gas moves up the eudiometer, the water is displaced out of the tube by the partial pressures of carbon dioxide and the vapor pressure of water. And as the reaction slows to a halt, we record the measured data and conclude our experiment. From the reaction, we are trying to calculate the amount of moles of carbon dioxide gas produced by using the ideal gas law. Pressure times volume equals moles of gas times the ideal gas constant times temperature. Using the recorded data from our experiment, we can use the pressure and temperature of the room and the volume of water displaced to calculate the moles of carbon dioxide produced. But first, we must convert them to the proper units. For the pressure of carbon dioxide gas, we take the difference in water height of the eudiometer with the water height of the tub. We divide by 13.6 because mercury is 13.6 times as dense as water, and this converts millimeters of water to millimeters of mercury. Then we subtract the difference from the room pressure to get the pressure inside of the eudiometer and convert the units from millimeters of mercury to atmospheres. For the volume, we simply use the amount of water displaced outside of the eudiometer and convert it to liters. The temperature must also be converted from Celsius to Kelvins. The ideal gas constant R is a given, 0 0.08206. Therefore, we have every variable we need to solve for N, the moles of gas reduced. We plug the variables into the ideal gas law and result in 0 0.00001315 moles of carbon dioxide produced.